what is going on guys the time played here and I'm gonna show you guys all three endings to GTA 5 for some reason those of you who don't want their shit to get spoiled but you still clicked on this video you're lucky that I'm explaining myself and I'm gonna tell you when to leave this fucking video first Franklin comes across three options at the end of the game Franklin will come across three options you want to choose an option that is not similar to the other two and for those of you who you guys already know what I'm talking about. For those of you who don't, you will know exactly what I'm talking about when Franklin comes to this dilemma. Okay, so now for those of you who clicked on this video for whatever reason and don't want their ending to be spoiled, would be the time for you guys to leave and thumbs this video up before you leave. Don't forget to do that. For those of you who don't give a flying cow shit about their endings, um, Franklin is going to come across three options, killing Trevor, killing Michael, and a death wish. I chose a death wish because you could go into the startup menu and game option and you could replay killing Michael and Trevor without it affecting your game. But if you do that in the first place for your first decision, it does affect your game and you are unable to use Trevor or Michael. Like I said, I don't know if it's permanent, but I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, the pros to killing Michael or Trevor would be you get their cut. Uh, from all the gold bars, you do get their cut. The cons would be they you cannot use whoever you kill you're not able to use them anymore and I'm pretty sure that's permanent I'm not a hundred percent sure so I'm not sure um I am going to show you guys all three endings but uh, they are cut like five seconds short just because a song plays and I don't have the permission to play that song that being said I'm the time played I'm really trying hard for my subscribers come check my channel out if you want I'm with RSP Productions Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs this video up and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey man. Hey, what's up? You seem kind of agitated. Man, shit ain't good right now. I'm sorry to hear that. Hold on. Hey baby, what's up? Really? Tracy. College? Our Tracy. R real college? You gotta be kidding me. That's great. All right, well, hey, listen, let me talk to you a little later, all right? Yeah, I just gotta wrap up some business here. All right, bye. Ah, uh, Amanda. Says she wants me to bring you around the house sometime for dinner. It's one of these nights, huh? I, mean, I don't know what I did to deserve this motherfucking luck. I got my kids back, my wife, and a job that I love. I mean, I made it. We made it. You and me, bro. <laughs> what? I like you, dog, and you know this. I risked everything for your ass, dog. What is this? Look, man. Me and you know this shit ain't over, dawg. We both realists. The fuck is this? You... You? You came here to fucking clip me? You? Fuck! Come on, you prick. I taught you everything you know. Not everything. I was here long before you, and I'll be here after your ass. Well, we'll see about that, you fuck. I'll take you every time. Uh. Every fucking time! Yeah? Fucking ain't right! homie people don't fucking change you did you two-bit gangster gone three-bit now you're gonna gap the only one who was ever decent to you ha ah. no I trusted you I took you in treated you like family ah. 
Hey, Lamar, it's me, homie. Look, I was just calling to see how you was doing, dog, or maybe we can hang out or something. Man, I know I've been kind of caught up in shit, man, but shit been real crazy, homie. But it's dealt with now. Fuck, man, you know how it is, homie. You just start running and shit, then all of a sudden your legs give and you just can't run no more. Anyway, man. your best fucking friend. Fuck you. Oh. 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 You know what, tough guy? It's, it's time you grow the fuck up. I mean, I admit, I'm a bad piece of work, but that guy, that piece of shit, no boundaries, no sense of when to back off, no nothing. 24-7 insanity, day in, day out. All the time. Never regretted nothing, never cared for nothing. Well, fuck him. <sighs> I mean, there's got to be a limit, kid. You know, a point where even assholes like us say, enough is he fucking enough. Human stew. That's my limit. I know that now. Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Franklin? I'll be here. <laughs> Franklin. Hey, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and sound. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I picked C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism, the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. Offshore? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. 
keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin. Goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. Now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. As uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs>